Weightlifting is a sport consisting of two lifts, the snatch and the clean and jerk. Weightlifting technique is rooted in placing the body in positions of strength and stability, where leverage is optimized and the body is capable of producing high levels of force, thus allowing to apply mechanical work to the barbell. The appropriate term for training with added resistance or load is resistant training. Weightlifting uses resistance training in different mode. Weightlifting, one word, should not be confused with weightlifting, two words, or weight training. Weightlifting refers to a specific sport, whereas weightlifting refers simply to lifting a weight. In this context, weightlifting is often referred to as Olympic lifting. However, this terminology is misleading and that all weightlifting doesn't occur in the Olympics. In this video portfolio, I will analyze the clean and jerk. Due to the explosive nature, these exercises are arguably one of the best exercises to develop speed, power, balance, mobility, while strengthening the hamstrings, quadriceps, low back, abdominals, shoulders, and traps. Firstly, it goes the clean. Starting position. In this position, we typically see close chain, foot in contact with ground, ankle dorsiflexion, shoulders above the barbell, the lumbar spine is strongly arched to procure tight and strong back. Feet are set on the shoulder width. Knees and toes are looking in the same direction. We also utilize hips flexion approximately 50-60 degrees and hip rotational capacity to set the hips level if or just above the knees while maintaining a relatively neutral pelvis. First pull starts on the floor and ends at the knee. Athlete engages legs muscle. The back angle remains unchanged. The knee is at approximately 140-150 degrees of extension, which demonstrates a certain amount of active control of the lengthened posterior chain. The barbell is being pulled mainly by legs extension. Second pull. The barbell and shoulders are set on the same straight vertical line, keeping the weight directly over the middle of the feet. This phase occurs when the bar is above the knee and ends at the hip. Full extension of the hips, knees, plantar flexion of the ankles and arms are observed. The heels stay down as long as possible. Third pull starts at full extension and ends in the receiving position. Athlete takes feet off the floor, hips moves down and backward. Receiving. The elbow joint is flexed to 30-40 degrees. Elbow flexion and wrist extension mobility are also factors for the front rack position. For the lower body, mobility is necessary all down the kinetic chain with hip flexion, varying amounts of rotation, knee flexion, and ankle dorsiflexion. Second part, jerk. Starting position, the barbell rests on chest and deltoids. The chest is raised up. The lumbar spine is slightly bent. This trajectory ideally demonstrates that during first and second pulls, the bar moves to the athlete. After a second pull, the bar moves strictly upwards and is fixed by the uplet slightly behind the vertical.
deep phase shall be performed in a dynamic manner, however not that fast to let the bar take off the chest during the dip. It is very important to dip down vertically so that hips do not move forward or backward during the dip. Same applies to the leg drive phase. The bar shall be jerked slightly upwards. Drive phase. Athlete stays on toes. It is important not to rush with engaging arms muscle because keeping the weight on arms instead of the chest doesn't allow the efficient power transition from the body to the bar. Drop. The only potential interaction with the barbell is trying to push yourself under the barbell to perform a quicker drop and then receiving. This hip position allows the lifter to position himself under the barbell with a stable base. Hip is extended. Trunk control to maintain the weight stacked over the ribcage and pelvis is important.